there's no limit on the raid. It can be one, it can be one million. Um, I don't have my channel set up, I don't believe, with any, you know, this is for mature audiences only or whatever, because you might be set up not to raid those. If it didn't let you raid me, it must be because I wasn't broadcasting at the time. Otherwise, you just type slash raid, a space, and then my name. Is that too loose for you, or is it good loose? Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, um <clears throat> I'll get loaded in while that's happening. Hello, hello. How do I come in? Check your volume. Check. Gotcha. Hey, Dustin, how are things going for you? Is it night, night, early morning, as in night, night, you're going to bed now? Or is it night, night, as in early morning, you're just now waking up? You got me all confused with that statement. Night, night, early morning? It's not morning here, by the way. It's 11 p.m. I wished I would have started streaming a little earlier, but I was super, super busy. By the way, are you running the uh, new overlay version? The one I just sent? I sent you another one, but that one right there, Brandon Davis said it detected a virus. And like, there's no virus in that. It was definitely a false positive. I'm curious to see if you download it, if your Windows Defender says it. Well, good luck with D24 tomorrow, Dustin, and have fun with your team. If I'm up, I have a little schedule of when you're racing, and I see you on, I'll come look you up. But I don't think I can spot. I don't own the cars. Everybody that I'm a trusted spotter for, I've gone and looked already. It's grayed out. Yeah. <clears throat> I have I have no idea what's up with his computer. He probably actually has a virus on his computer. <laughs> you know, and the virus, anytime you download something, the virus will install it in that program. You know, so I don't know what his deal is. I typed it I typed it fresh for you. It's it's right there. Um not being signed won't cause a problem, Dustin, unless it's a driver. Because Windows 11 won't allow you to use unsigned drivers and you'll get an error. This is an actual it has a big long name. You know the virus names N62 dot Sybil dot this 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 dot this this this. It said my program has that virus in it, and it's like, no, it doesn't. So his computer's probably got a virus on it. Nobody else I'm giving this to is having a problem with it. It's just Windows Defender. All right, I'll go fire this up and see if I got uh, data. I'll be right back. So in order to do this, I have to have David Stryker profile. I have to know his customer ID, his iRacing ID when I run. 538, 004. I'm getting live data from him. Sweet. Let me check my dash view. Yep, that's working. So I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn that on. So there is kind of an overlay I'm using to watch his vehicle. But because he's running my overlay software on his computer, it's actually telling me his temperatures for water and oil and a whole bunch of other useful information that you can see there. Let me see the short break.
that. That's the beginning of it. Um, that right there isn't, that's just for my stream, but um, there's my overlay overlay. This is kind of a modified version. Yeah, we haven't made changes yet. Want me to make some changes real quick? It's, yeah. We have 20 minutes to shake it down, figure it out. But yeah, you see, that is my overlay that you see with the running order, but it's a broadcast version of it. I'm going to be making another one for streamers that is more like what you'd see in CAPS or Race Lab apps or Sim Racing apps. Kidoki. Let's go here, here. I'm switching. I'm just going to, because it's too loose, we're going to drop the track. At the very bottom of the um, track bar height is at the very bottom. Yep, I'm going down one click. I think one click should be enough. Yeah, I'm doing it. And I'll click done. No, no don't have to resave it. It's fine if you don't. Go ahead and uh, start driving it. Let's see if it's... I want to leave you a little loose so that this thing will rotate late run. Uh, are you going to drive, David? or are you... uh, David, go ahead and drive it. I'm done. I forgot to push to talk with him. Yep. There he goes. Yeah, man, there's a... People are going bonkers. About that Daytona 24. I have zero interest in it. But since Dustin's going to be racing in it, he asked me to spot. I'll spot... Yeah, you might have to go down one more. Yeah, right now I have it so he... I have a right now where he's not coming through on my stream. I will probably change that during the race. Alrighty. Um, somebody's messaging me. Yeah, that's carnage. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's take a look at what Dustin sent me on Discord. Here's his schedule. Tomorrow morning, he's scheduled to run at 10 18 a.m. I will not be awake. I'll, but if I am, what the heck, I'll go spot him. I'll stream it if I do. Then the next stint that I'm aware of will be 2.18 a.m. overnight into Sunday morning. But I don't think it matters. Um, I just checked iRacing with other people that I know that are running Daytona 24s that wanted me to spot. And it won't let me spot. It's flat out grayed out. So, I, they call it crewing. I can't join the session. I can't crew. I can come watch. I can go into their session and watch, but I can't go do black boxes or any of those things. So, um, there's a real good chance I'm not going to be spotting anybody that's doing the 24. And that suits me just fine. C can you still hear me? My, um, okay, because my stream just kind of hiccuped. Not my YouTube stream.
Yeah, my stream is back. It's just Chrome doing Chrome things. It could be tight in the middle. I didn't do anything that would affect that though. It should be the same as before in the middle. Um, yeah, if you want more throttle steer, if you want it to rotate on throttle, there's a track bar adjustment I can do there too, to make it. studying data that I'm getting from him. I only went down one click on the track bar. Did that make it so it's not unmanageably loose, or would you like that click? I'm going to take um, a short little break here. I'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, be right, be right back. Pit box team, right here. Not all drills.
Outside. Outside. All clear, all clear. Car down low. I'm not sure if I'm inside the truck. Come on. Uh, I think I died. Up there in heaven somewhere. Have a slow car on the bottom.
done this. One stopped up high. Go low. You've got wheel damage. Pit box team, right here. Did I miss him getting ran into? <laughs> Not surprising. Anyway, I'm back. We got about a two, three minute warning here. By the way, how does it feel? Really? Okay. Yeah, with that track bar, it's going to be a bit of a handful. So I'm going to look at his garage. I'm switching views so I don't show the Maconi setup. <clears throat> Let me see where we're at here. That's an interesting... This track bar is in a weird spot. And that's that ballast way forward, too. Alright, back to the game, folks. short break notice. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be safer. You gotta be better safe than sorry. If you're not comfortable, Yeah, the times are worthless. It's what would you know, it's what you see the hot pressures, you know, and the tire temperatures when you're done. Yeah, I'll meet you in session. We'll have fun either way. Dude, that setup isn't half bad, you know. He's going to finish that lap and he's going to read to me uh, what the tire temperatures are doing to him. Even though I'm not in the session, you'll see the overlays, the, the one down below, that little mini dash, is still giving me accurate data for him because he's still driving and uploading his data to me. That's what you're seeing, actually, is his telemetry off of his computer. He just parked. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, I think it's going to be fine. Run, run mod one. It looks to me like the track bar on the right rear is higher than I remember it. So that's actually kind of good. It gives you a looser exit.
Yeah. So, you know, um, go out there and see what feels. You don't have much time. And it just warmed up to 100, so... Yeah, you need to... This is your first race with a setup, you know, your first C-Open. Probably something a little more... You know, if you had a thousand laps to practice, then I'd say, hey, go ahead and run the other one, you know, but you're going to be off your touch tonight. You're, you know, believe it or not, uh, you're a little worn out more than you're probably thinking you're, you are because you just ran Bristol, you know, what was that, 150 laps? It was a big Bristol race. That's a lot of laps. So I imagine that you probably feel a little bit dragged out from that. Okay, 10-4. I can guarantee you that mod two, as loose as I made it, isn't too loose, but I'd have to drive it to see myself, but it probably, if, 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 if you were one of those on edge drivers, man, that's a fast set, dude. Yep. Just remember my trick though, because if you ever have a setup and you're feeling iffy, drop the track bar a click. And if it's still iffy, drop it another click. So... Yes. A lower number. Correct. If you only do one or the other, you're going to affect entries and exits in ways that I don't want to explain right now. But just if you drop both equally, it will not change anything other than the overall looseness of the car, especially under throttle or under braking. Yes. Which are the arrow keys on the left side of each one? Here comes your first time left. You're going to have your hands full today. EJ Luna's in the house. He's cool people, man. He's probably even streaming right now. Yeah. What did? Oh, okay. One more lap. So watching a Battlefield 4 streamer that I like. Not many people stream it. She's been streaming a long time. She's almost up to eight hours. She's seven and a half hours into her stream. There's the flag. It's I'm not reading the chat. I'm just kind of listening and watching what's going on. She's having a riot, though. It's making me want to play all these games to play tonight, man. Yep, Panic is out there. He's streaming. JMC989. He's streaming. Don't know what he's running. If I had to throw a dart, it's probably like every... Like the other 189,262 people playing Daytona 24. How you doing, squirrel turds? I got a hell of a show for people tonight if they don't want to watch the Daytona 24. I'm your man. Striker's doing C open with a setup that I kind of helped tweak a little bit. The last time we worked on it, I had it fast, but it was just a smidge too loose for him. Even though the tire wear was indicating tight. Dalton Collins isn't that new. Um, you would normally see him in A fixed, maybe A open back in the day. And... Um, He's ultra-aggressive and blames everybody else for everything that happens. Well, that's about right. So, that, in other words, he's a typical eye racer. More so than usual, though. He's, he's definitely got a little more fire in the belly. But I think he might have been a former pro, but I'm not sure.
Yep. These are all people. A lot of those names, I already know all these people because they come from the A-Open world. They're just not running A-Open tonight, you know, because who the hell wants to raise Darlington? Oh, when that track comes around, you know who likes to race it? All those 7, 8, 9K guys that just love a track. You know, they're so good at the game that they need something that's really, really hard. Because that's fun for them, sliding all over and bumping and banging. They like that. You know, people like Eric Royce, you know, people who are really, really super skilled at iRacing love Darlington because everything else is just too easy for them. And that track right there is, well, pretty much impossible for everybody, even them. They, they get in lots of wrecks. So. But it is good to see you, Squirrel Turds. You had a hell of a day today. It was quite a fun stream. I was working on what you see. If you look in the bottom of the middle of the screen, I kind of got a kind of a simulated um, next-gen display that you guys can use to see David's um, temperatures. Remember how on your stream today when you were doing a replay and you were looking at the gauges on the truck and you're like, I wish those worked. Well, those work. I can see David's temperatures. He's literally feeding them to me over the internet to my computer using software I wrote. So there's like a little mini right, mini overlay there. All right, man. Line up on the outside kind of a simulated dash. That was a humdinger, man. But I was telling you in that wreck, that wreck was nobody's fault. He was pinching you down, and you just this much. I mean, just really super slightly, you overdrove that corner. And you, you you kind of scrubbed off the bottom, but not much. Just enough to get it to where you could touch him. But as far as you passing on the inside, you had every right to go down there and pass on the inside. Because you were bumper to bumper. I mean, you were door to door with him all the way down the back straight. And what happened is, is you kind of laid off to make your entry, and he decided to overshoot, so he got back out in front of you. Too bad. You were there at the turn-in point. And those runs were because you were, you were playing smart. If you look at my YouTube video at New Hampshire, but also if you watch me do the bot races too, if you go into a turn high, you can keep your run, and then run off for a late apex with a really, really long, wide radius. So you can just get the power down way more. Because you're coming in from the top of the track, downhill, across the bottom for a late apex. And um, meanwhile, they're trying to track out. They see you crossing them, and they can't turn back down because they're on the throttle and can't turn left any more than they are. So they, a lot of times they stall in that lane, but they're in the middle by now, and you just pass them on the left and zoom by. Once you... Got them to the point where they don't have tires anymore, but you do. Which both of those passes were... Um, that's also how you get past lap cars, too, believe it or not. Lap cars just running their line, go in high, so you don't have to slow down. You can keep your speed up there. And then you take a left turn down the hill late as they're coming up, and you pass by underneath of them. So, yeah. That's what you're going to have to do to make passes in iRacing. Everybody just waits until, you know, they get a little bit of that bumper and then wedge it in there. And on a, on a track like this, if you're not where this white truck is, this white Mobile One truck, if you're, if, you're racing, if you're race speed this high at this track, you're annihilating your tires, number one. And number two, they're just going to get the runoff out of the bottom of the corner because there's a grip strip there. This is one of those, this is a legacy track, and it uh, and it has one grip strip. In other words, there's one lane of pavement that you're allowed to drive on, and that's it. And if you're not on it, you're screwed. You're off three to five tenths. Get ready. Even right here. I'm going to let the built-in spotter get you going here on the green flag, and then I'm going to take over. All right, man. Going to continuous radio check. I'm working. Pace car's long gone. They're going up ahead there. Green flag. I'll take over. Clear.
Who's the superhero? Dalton Collins. He's going to cause a wreck. You see him with the curb on the back? See how it says, I think you have the same paints. Yeah, that black and yellow truck. Back up, back up, back up. Man going around. Both, both. Two wrecks. Two wrecks ahead. Go to the high side. Go to the right. Middle only. Middle only. Go to the wall. Go to the wall. Okay, you're good. There were actually two wrecks, the one that you saw and then another one out on the oval. Did he get into it? I'm going to look. It's time for the donkey report. These people are getting the f These people are getting the full fury of the donkey today. Okay. So what happened there? So this guy comes down. Total idiot move by seven. Big time. He just straight dumped his ass. Holy cow. Okay. I got to get on all teams. Start typing the donkey report. Uh, the, the, that was the caution, uh, but there was the guy that got loose in front of you that you're well aware of. Either would have been the caution because that guy went around. That guy did it right in front of panic, too. But there was a lot of wrecks afterwards. Holy cow. Where's panic? Where's EJ? Oh, I'm in the replay. I'm showing my stream the replay of what, what exactly. He mostly say, I mean, he never even spun. He got around this guy on the right. Like, I don't get it either, man. 80 laps. And those two hit each other and made that guy stop dead in front of him, so he hit that guy. He's he's destroyed right away. That is so stupid. Come on, Logan. You know it's all about lap one. Dalton Collins is out of all this. What was his role? He didn't cause the wreck. I know that, or I would have donkey reported him. But he's he was destroyed. Oh, yeah, his engine's blown. See, you know, that's Dalton's fault. Right here, Dalton should be going to the high side, but he's not. He's Dalton is pointing right at the wreck for some reason. And then he gets hit by another guy. Why didn't Dalton? No, he's... The car was stopped. He actually pointed at pretty much a stopped car. And the guy was also slightly going down. He should have taken a right turn and gone up the hill. Who, Dalton Collins is Cole Trickle? That's, Dalton Collins is better than that. I don't know why he just drove straight at it. He said, hmm, there's a wreck. I think I'll point at it. All right. We're live. We're back with you now. Fast boys. They're going. I know a lot of people love to drive those 87s. I, I did the 87s at um, working on my overlay today. I did an AI race at Wilkesboro. You got a car inside, by the way. He's there now. You know, because two wide is a great way to start the race. It's really good to lose all that time. Yeah, what a jackass. You'll be passing him later. Maybe not with this set. This set gets really tight later on, but... Yep. Yeah. You'll just have to cope with it when it happens. But anyhow... Yeah, I don't know what Dalton's deal was. 
I, I don't know what anybody's deal is. It's not particularly hard to race this track. You just you just hit the guy in the ass. You just turned him around. Not Dalton, of course. Dank number seven. Oh yeah, practice getting to the bottom. A lot of people arc that bottom. I don't like to do that. Not on this track. Yeah, that's uh, Christopher Pfeffer. He'll have a Coke set, or a Road to Pro set, more appropriately. That's probably been modified to work here. Be glad he's in front, because he has no racecraft. If he's in the group, he, he causes wrecks. He's just, you know, one of those. Uh, with the Legacy set, with a Road to Pro set, they won't. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's still gonna be that, but he's still gonna be way faster than everybody else. He is thirty point three last lap. Hogan is just under thirty point three. You could call it thirty point three. That whole group up there is thirty point four. Other than them, there's some fives. Let's get back to you. There you were. And then you're a seven, so Yeah, that's Legacy Esports, or whatever they're called. Okay, Icy, thanks for stopping by, man. We'll catch you the next time. Have a good night. You know he's there by the bumper. Now is Axel. Got a little bit of a run here. It's going to fade a little bit. Now clear. paint dude just kind of looking it over it's weird it's just that green cab makes it it's so weird all this great looking red truck but yet this the effect that that green roof has it's freaking awesome Yeah, broken replay. I was going to replay from where you were, but the replay is always broken. It goes somewhere else. Thank you. I'm just tired of running my tires hard. That hard. This is the guy that did all that dipshit racing earlier. Now you're clear. He's already eating his stuff up. Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah, but all that racing to pass you costed you race time. The leader is further out now than the leader should be. You know, it's it's irritating is what it is. Yeah. We're not going to beat the legacy guys, I'll tell you that. On your outside door... I'm going to try to get us into the top five with Pit Strat.
I think that's very doable. But the good news is EJ Luna is out there still, so... Yep. And you're outside there. He's got your door. Now clear. Screwing around with him, got the 18 back into it. Who, Luna? Oh, he's point two behind you. That's the 18. There was another other guy? Cause... Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no. No, you're talking 10, 15, 20 laps into a run. They're going to be just, there's going to be so many cars that are just dead. Praying to the caution gods for a gift from the heavens. Leaders 31-4. Uh-huh. Just sheer stupidity. Using you up, making you both. Neither of you can run the preferred line, so you both fall back from the leader. But it's good for you to just to let him go. Don't worry about it. If you hit him, you hit him. You know, you got the bottom. Yep. If he's not getting it down there and then he suddenly chops late in the corner, that's on him, you know? No, I know it. Outside. It's probably going to be there on exit. He's paced now. Still there on the outside. Go on, go off. Just by the bumper. Still there. Now clear. You see how much nicer the car handles when you can get down on that paint? That's where the grip strip, strip is. Hey, Juice 10, how you doing, man? We're spotting a C Open, C License class race. With David Stryker behind the wheel. Inside. See that line? Annihilates your tires off the bottom. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, they just keep sticking it in there on you. And now your tires, you know. But you're right. That high line out there that he's going in with is a little bit rough on the tires. Except it is a nice wide radius. So that kind of helps. Yes, Your speed, Mrs. Reaper. 
Are you racing right now, by the way? I'm curious. So... Just by his bumper. Now clear. Still clear. Yeah, it's about time. I've already got your pit boxes ready. He damaged his car there. I see deformity. Now clear. He's coming back in. He hasn't learned his lesson yet. Stay low. A little race going on here. What you see? Clear, clear. <clears throat> yeah, you're okay. What you're thinking? Oh, okay. Yep, just yeah, you're home free now. Without without him being a dick about everything, now you're gonna get your exit out to the wall and catch this. Uh... Yep, you're better in, better out. You'll be able to catch up with 18. Some people just don't get this game. This is lap 30, by the way. You are? Okay. Do you want a pit adjustment for anything? Entry good, exit good? Is it neutral, tight? Okay, good. I usually add to it. You know, if you if you say, well, it's a little bit, if it's a little bit loose already, then I'll do. Uh, 67 is the default. Right now I'm studying the fuel situation. Oh yeah, I'm aware. Remember? <laughs> Let's see, so we're going to go two laps. 42... That's an interesting... Too loose down there. Right, I'm trying to get you by there. 
Yeah, all right. We're here, right? If I get back up. I'm going hard, trying to get You're her. going in on lap 42. Yep. Because then a full tank of gas gives you precisely what you need. With a little tiny bit of leftover. You should have 3.8 gallons left when we uh, get to that lap. If not, we might have you go another one. Mrs. Reaper, you can skip the ARCA car if you want. I'll show you how to do that. I didn't think you could. I thought it was protestable, but there is a way to skip the ARCA car and go all the way to B license or C license to the trucks from the street stocks. Unfortunately, you have to race C streeters until you have D 4.0. On your outside. Stay low here. Almost there. Clear, clear. At this point, passing him might, I don't know. Do you feel like you have a lot more pace than him? Is he holding us up? Ten gallons to five point three. So the car feels neutral to you right now, not tight, not loose. Thanks for checking up for me now. Did you go up on the track? I wasn't looking. If it's just for a split second, they sometimes forgive you, but... This is Rookie, Mrs. Reaper, are you Rookie class right now? Or are you already D class? Or Oval? Yes. Good luck on your pit stop here. I'll put the computer spotter. Oh, you're going to go one more. You're going to go 43. That's fine, too. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a problem. Let's, let's get your lap time right now. You're 32.3. And I just want to, you want a top 10, so I'm going to look at P10. And P10 is 32.2 almost. We'll, we'll pick up time on the people in the mid pack, because that'll put us in the top 10. So that's, that's, the, uh, that's the game plan. That's the strat. We're going to undercut them a little bit. So here you go. You're on the computer spotter. You'll get your box call. Good luck on your stop. Hitting in, hitting in. So, David leads the way. Pit box in five, three, two, one. Right here.
Yeah, man. This setup is tight. 6177. But that's cool. You know, it, it's drivable by you, you know? I think with practice you could handle it and and it's your skill wise I think you're ready for you know the loose stuff but it takes practice you need reps all right nobody coming man come right on out to the wall and let's go get them let's go wrap up this race I only gave you one extra tape. I, I was afraid to give you two. We could try two, one of these races, but... He's okay. yielding. All clear, all clear. Did you buy the Arca car yet? Got one outside. All clear, all clear. Outside. You're clear high, clear high. Yes. Outside. Stay low. All clear, all clear. Matthew Lee, Chris Pfeffer, pitting in. Yeah. Eight cars left to pit. Pit it in. That's P5 announcing his pit in. 23 is pitting in this time, pitting in this time. You got sure. I'm going in this time also. The undercut is risky Just because if there's a caution right now, we're screwed and have to stay out in order to get the wave. Yeah, there was that, you know, initial start can be hairy with all that traffic. It doesn't surprise me, but that wasn't on the rest on the start that that guy wrecked that dude. But it's early in the race. You're not locked in. Your nerves are the worst right now. Your nerves are at their best. You know, they're you're not close enough to the finish to have to worry about that. And, you know, in your case, you're not in traffic. This is an enjoyable segment of the open race right now what you're in only the top three now. now the top two are going in all four of them that's good that's going to leave you in about p6 we won't be able to keep that of course N now the coin now it flip-flops because a caution would really help you now you know Fading back to the door, bumper, clear out. Okay, baby. Hit it, got on the tire, and it goes too far back. Oh, he's stuck in his box. The 18, he said he's stuck in his box. It won't let him out. I've seen that bug on stream before. It happened to Jake. Jay Gibson. It is. You can't move. You're you're stuck in your box. And that bug has been around about a year now. It happened, I believe, to David Schildhouse in a um, Monday Night Racing race. 
one year. And you're clear. You have 10 gallons of fuel and you need 9.9 .9 to finish, dude. That's how hitting at that time and taking that much fuel just worked out perfect. No, you would have added the same 10 gallons. It would have worked. Yeah. Hawkins, he's got your, your 12 laps on your tires. He's four on his. Yeah, he's got eight laps. That's eight tenths, you know? I mean... On these older legacy tracks that annihilate tires. Even when you get to the right lane, if you're not in the right lane, it really does the tires in, man. I think that you're dead. Whoa. Yep. Caution would be a big win for you. Come up a little bit there, let him have it. Yeah. Now the guy behind you is two lap older tires, so you won't won't have to worry about him, except for the guy, Ryan Bloom, that just passed him. Ryan is kind of between yours and Austin's age for tires, so he's gonna end up catching up to us. We're, we're gonna have to deal with that, but not a problem. We'll just, we'll just let him go on by, you know. I, I'm just telling you, this still looks like a top 10 finish. Uh, you might be right. But you might not. Hey, thanks, Starting Park. I'm glad you like it. It's, um, you know, it's what I like to do, so I'm going to stream it. I know it's not as fun as, okay, let's go to Arca now. Okay, let's go to A-Fixed and, you know, all the guys that race. It's probably more fun to watch, but... You know, I'm good at open race spotting, and racing for that matter, and, you know, people who enjoy it, here I am. Thanks, EJ. I hope EJ didn't piss that off. That sounded sarcastic, didn't it? Because coming from Boyd... Boyd? Thank you. No, Boyd... Boyd's big thing is ch chirping in on everybody else's wrecks. You know what I mean? He, he he's not involved, and he, he he's just he's a chirper, but he also doesn't abuse people either. You know, I mean, <clears throat> he just says something about it. He's one of those. He's not involved. He just says something. But lately, he hasn't really been that way. I think he's now he's gotten more serious about Road to Pro, and he's just doing different things with the game. If I had to guess, he's probably young 30s. He's not like us, you know, or he's pushing 50, but... He took it. One more coming. Stay high. These are the two that have the better tires. And you're clear. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree starting part. Uh, watching spotting is, you know, kind of fun. I got the cool overlays. People can watch and see what's going on, and... You'll notice I added a panel to the screen that looks a little bit like the uh, McLaren dash they use in the next ends. Sorry, I didn't think you'd be able to get that. Yep. Anything can happen. We're still racing. 19 to go. Now you're flying right now.
you're upwards of a full lap to the good, too, for fuel, so that's reassuring. <sighs> I shouldn't be tired, but yawning like crazy. The funny thing is, when there's not a lot of drama in a race, and right now you're just on autopilot, spotting is easy. And this is how some of the really, really long races I'll do with Rob are, like if he decides to sit down and do the Coke 600, or he hasn't done that in a while, he just doesn't have the physical ability. NAS is moderately long, yeah. Not as long as a Coke 600 by any means, though. They're, they're half length. NAS races are all half length except for the ones that are full length. There's maybe three or four of those a year. Daytona 500 will be full length. The Coke 600 is full length. And it's Richmond or Bristol, one of the short tracks. Phoenix, I think, was full length last year. Rob did run the full length Phoenix because that's not a lot of racing. You're under caution almost the whole time. Yet, realizing he's a menace, he still races it. This guy right here just really kind of pisses me off. His name's Brandon Brown. I wonder if it's the real one. Outside, still there. You're going to be clear now. Yeah, that's try over. Yep, yep. Try to let barely turn. Just suck you right into that wall. He's just... Is he trying to get the caution? I did the same thing you did earlier in the week. No, I'm talking because I saw him dragging the wall and I thought he was going to try to make it look like the wall stopped him. When I turned to go and try, well, I guess it's still, still lost traction. Yeah, indeed, start and park. It's mentally draining to spot at the plate tracks. There's constant concentration, especially with the next gen car, because next gen car, you probably have seen the little videos on Twitter. All of a sudden, there's a car, it's just kind of coming slow. And all of a sudden, it's 20 miles an hour faster. Just shotguns past everybody somehow. And you have to keep an eye out for all that weird stuff. So your driver you know, doesn't do something that he shouldn't do. Please stay high, Brown. I'll stay high, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, Brandon fought you tooth and nail. Thanks. There's, you know, all the people thanking him for letting him pass. No, that was someone else. So, I enjoy spotting anything but road. Road is fun to crew chief, though. With road, it's all about pit strategy and trying to figure out when to take the pit stops for the best advantage. There's, um... There's different thought processes there, and I enjoy it, That the crew chiefing part of it. So, Fox Motorsport, good to see you tonight, man. I'm imagining you're just coming home from work. It's about that time. It's good to see you, Cam. Hope you're doing well. Maybe get a good square meal down you home from work. Saddle up to the computer and watch us race. So, David, I'm scoring you in P9 so far, man. Good race so far. Let's keep it up. Well, if he break, if he makes a mistake anywhere in between, man, it's uh, 10 to go with the stripe. 10 to go here. So, um, yeah, just save your stuff. Don't get over anxious. You're in P9 now. What's a P10? What's the difference? You wanted a top 10. There you go. Let's do it. And in this split with the people that are in here to get a top 10 out of it, I kind of thought I could do it for you, you know, on pit strat. So, you betcha. I could send him, I could tell him, hey man, we need new tires for a green-white checker. He wouldn't, he panic wouldn't do shit like that. Guaranteed. 
Panic is an honorable racer. Mm. Careful, now that he's within one second, even though he's not right there, the arrow will still start to make you loose which actually could help you. So see how it feels as he approaches. Be prepared for that possibility. iRacing models it. If you're giving him the pull, he's giving you the loose. And it's stupid and unrealistic, but that is definitely a thing. Thanks, John. I'm getting the whole gang together tonight, aren't I? Starting Park's here, Cameron's home, pretty good room. Reaper's here, Squirrel Turds is lurking away with his chaladas. Life is good, man. Life is good, folks. It's good to see y'all. I hope we all have a great weekend together. Yeah, I went ahead and put an extra front buffer on tonight so I can get you out of my way. <laughs> That's cute. Dude, that was good. Sorry, Brandon. I don't know if I just hit you or if you got loose, sir. I'm sorry. Come on, man. Thank you, David. I killed myself with the pits. I fell so far back. Slowing on the low side here by pit road. You're clear of him. Maurice Burnett had problems this race. He might have took damage early on. Yep. It's it's fairly realistic, but it's exaggerated on iRacing. racing. In real races, when you see that happen, you'll hear the announcers talk about it. It takes a lot longer for them to get up to you and pass you, you know, with that small of a difference. But iRacing is basically, I think they've intensified the effects of aero and tires and all that stuff so that you feel it in these short, you know, 40, 80 lap races. So... Uh, no, we're going to make it to the end. And if we do, I'm 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 quick with the buttons. Be prepared, David. Oh, yeah. I got a plan. I'm banging up here. I got a plan for that. Yeah, I'm watching that thing. What you would do, because you're curious, I'll, I'll do it in your boxes right now. I'll simulate it. I'd give you a splash of fuel, 3.4. By the way, let me go look at my data. I want to make damn sure we have enough. Oh, yeah, 0.7. Mm hmm So I'd give you a splash, 3.4. I'd give you windshield tear off, naturally tires, especially at this track. Some tracks I might just take the outside too, though, especially if you're back in 18th or 24th place and you need to jump. But from up here, we take all four and fight the people that took the two in the green white checker and hope for the best. Because you should be able to, uh, and I, I'll just, just move their asses. You know what I mean? If they're out there and they're dropping an anchor send them they shouldn't have did that you know because they'll try to defend the position to keep it they'll they'll be dirty and then you show them what dirty really looks like because that's racing so that's that's the plan you know we are looking at a white flag now it don't matter but that is what i would do and with only 3.4 i would go to four clicks loose by the way because that's an empty tank that that calls for four clicks loose i got two in so i might add maybe three more i might go five loose for you because of how tight this setup is this setup is super tight i just don't want to loosen it because you don't you don't handle loose yet you're not there yet Boyd, how am i supposed to go to the website when it's not spelt right the hell you mean <laughs> Catch, good catch. Nice win, though, boy. Way to go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Time two. Good win, boy. Hey, good battle, 25. 
Good stuff, David, man. You ran a good ass race, dude. Yes, we will. I can't wait to see what this looks like on paper afterwards. It's a good race from my e lap car, seriously. It was to watch, to watch you guys race each other at the end. It was pretty neat. Think about that, man. Yeah, great job, Panic. With, uh, With this uh, SOF, the guy gets a P10. That's all you need to do. Get top 10s, guys. That's good finishes. And start striving for top 5. Right, Strive for 5. But you're making it in the top ten. That's a good. Uh, that's a good milestone. That's a very good position to finish yeah, I'll in. Yeah, keep this bumper too. I might even bring an extra car with me. Truck. Yeah, I think I'm going to add some oil slick drop. But chat, what happens is these open races will have a lot of guys that are really, really super good. There were a couple people here from yeah, Legacy. The they basically have Coke sets, and of course, Coke doesn't race here with this car. So it's the Road to Pro. They make Road to Pro sets also. So they've got the best setups in the business. And, um, I mean, I, even Eric Rice in this race would have a fight for first. Derek, just the same thing. These people are pro level. A handful of these people. So Robin strives for finishing and you strive for chat. I appreciate that. It's good to see you again. I haven't seen you in a little while. Good to have you back. So your spine is good. Man, back, um, hang on a second. I'm um, sorry, what was the question, David? You, one time trial will do it. You'll get 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7 out of a time trial. Yeah, uh, especially if you do it at a shorter track. But if you were to time trial the truck here, Yep. What you could do is just see what loose is like, take mod two, go to a time trial, and then just drive slow. Who cares if, if it's too loose, you know? It can't hurt your eye rating. There's a time trial rating, but who cares about that? Everybody's time trial rating is 1255. <laughs> so... What, did you sign up for a race, or are you trying to do time... Why not do a time trial for that 30 minutes, you know? Oh, yeah, you're in a practice. I get it now. Yeah. Chat, let's look and see what just happened to this guy. He finishes P10. He picks up 23 safety rating, puts him at 394. That's awesome. 2830. You want to run the open, you want to run the open time trial and use it as an opportunity to test. He picked up 50 I rating, is at 28.30, so he's kind of starting to creep back up on the 3,000 mark. So, he got, he was just about there, too. He was so close, and then he had two or three raises, just rack, 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 and that put him back on his heels. Right now, he's going to do about a 30-minute time trial. Um, I haven't decided quite what I'm going to do. Oh my god, start and park. That's horrendous. That's terrible. That's how Rob is too. Rob with his back problems right now from his war injuries, he he can't sit at the computer and exercise, you know, his arms, fingers, pedals. He just tires out and he has to go lay down, you know. The older he gets, the worse this gets. really super worried about it what i'm gonna do folks we have a little bit of a break here we can take um maybe we'll watch him time trial are you gonna do a time trial david oh wait david are you gonna do a time trial okay 10-4 We'll watch him time trial while I put some food together. Then I'll come back and we'll chat. I'm blessed that I don't have those problems anymore. You know what? I used to have a little bit of a, you know, sore back, hips, knees, ankles, all the soccer stuff. Um, 
Why not try running mod two, the loose one? Um, I didn't save a mod three, did I? Maybe you did. Oh. What did we do? What was the additional change that we did for mod three? Is that where we lowered the track bar a little bit? You could do three. You could what's the track count? Uh mod three then with the lower track bar. It'll still be loose. Part of it is I moved that um um uh, I moved the ballast way back, and that's going to make you lose too. So, no, no, no. I, I went from 15.5 to 14.0 inches on the ballast. Yeah, the preload had to come down to get it to pass tech. So, all the preload does is change when and how the anti-roll bars engage when you start to roll into a corner. So that can help level the ride height when you're getting into a corner a little bit. So I'm going to come and spectate your time trial and let the crowd watch do laps. I have a little. And a half an hour, sure. Mm -hmm. Where am I finding? Where is he? David Stryker. Here we go spot God, why does this take so long then I need to make some food man I gotta run down to my pantry and grab a can of uh, refried beans Although I do have taco meat, I could just do it with meat tonight. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, before I forget, because I will forget. <clears throat> I'm going to do it right now while I sit here. I'm going to pull up my shopping list. And i got to add taco seasoning to it, because I'm out of that. I'm going to add ground turkey to my shopping list, too. I meant to put an order in last night, but I forgot to do it. And I'll probably forget tonight, too. Or I'll be too tired and say, ah, the hell with it. But, man, I'm going to get around to it, man. I got to have food. I have a lot of food in the house. This just sucks when you're out of certain things. Milk, for example. I'm flat out of milk right now. Flat out out of milk. All right. Remember for time trials, you don't need to set the world on fire so you can practice going extra slow, right? Just to see what happens at the end of a 30 lap run. All the while you're accumulating safety rating and one mishap towards the end can erase the whole thing. So it is super important. One third what? What do you mean by one third? That's, that's actually, that's actually not true. Yeah, I, I, it's on a per hour basis and in and, 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 and any hour of time trials, you're probably going to pick up 0.12 to 0.14. And that's about what you'll get out of an hour of racing on average too. It literally averages the same. Oh yeah, I always did 0 0.6, 0 0.7. This time trial should be more than enough, plus it gives you an opportunity to see what this setup's going to do long run. And to get the feel for it, you'll be more confident racing with it. Remembering that a setup that's slightly loose when you're time trialing with it is actually going to be tight when you follow traffic. You know, the dirty air. So a setup that's a little bit loose and skittish right now is going to be spot on. Unless a car is behind you, you know, sniffing your butt. Then they're going to make you wreck and loose, you know, because the shoes in the other foot, they're behind you, not in front. So. Anyway, sit tight. I will be right back. I'm going to go get some food.
I have a few minutes before I have to flip over my tacos. They're heating up in the Dutch oven. Aha! How do you, uh, I'm going to look at something here a minute. I've never, you know what, the one thing I've never done with is overlay, uh, you know, the one that I use on my stream and that kind of is what Podium uses. I've, I've never been in a time trial with it and it works. It just popped right up and said time trial. That's a riot. Normally you have to really, really test these things everywhere you go and everything you do with them. Now I'm showing you is A3.7. Safety rating. I know what I'll do. Hang on, let me refresh this. Yeah, it didn't update. It You're still in memory. I have to... It just is a different use case, you know, going from session to session to session. It didn't update it. Well, you'll be A4.0, but unfortunately, that's not going to make you a pro. Mm -hmm. How... How do you feel about the setup, though, now that you're a few laps into this? and I can replay them. I, I'm able... Oh, that I can do, too. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, it gave you credit. Your best 10 laps were laps 2 through 11. Mm-hmm. You are now at 32.0, 32.1, and your best was 30.7. So that basically is 1.5. Uh, a delta of 1.5 seconds is very normal at a mile and a half track. Yeah. Then it'll plateau. It'll probably go up to about 1.7-ish, unless you've really abused it. If we can keep this thing in 30 minutes of, of um, you got 13 or 14 minutes left, if you can keep that delta under 1.6, 1.7, you're doing really, really super good versus your best lap. Which would be 32. 30.7 is okay. I mean, obviously, it'd be nice if it were maybe two or three tenths faster than that. But let me click... Info track temps 113. It's a that's a good time for a hot track. You're on a hot track with that track bar jacked way up in the air. So, in terms of its you know the the, the height, the track bar height. In fact, I'll take a quick look. Make sure this is the right track bar height. 10.75, 11.5. The truck arms are mounted to the top. Holy cow. Those are usually mounted at the bottom. That shortens the wheelbase and makes it loose. That's pretty unusual. I, I just now noticed they got the truck arms mounted at the top. That's That's not a normal thing. Probably something they have to do with the legacy track, you know, how tight they get. How is the comfort level? I mean, how does it feel? See? You know, so the track bar and it being a little loose is nothing to be afraid of. And it would probably actually help you in a race. Yeah, I'm liking it. Mm-hmm. And 
Yeah, you're expecting the car to behave different muscle memory. I'm probably not going to have him do that because if he has a mishap screwing around with pit entry on a time trial, it could erase all these good laps he's had. So <laughs> it's tough. That's called consistency. Now, I think I've already told you, um, my, one of the, probably the, most golden nugget of knowledge I ever learned from Casey Kirwan in his stream. He was racing road. Somebody came into his chat and said, Oh, hi, Casey. I see you're running road. I usually come here to learn how to race by watching you do ovals. And so Casey just started talking about racing at ovals. Just not about his road, but oh yeah, cool. Thanks for joining the channel. None of that stuff. It, it was He just instantly said, Road is about consistency. And I forget what the other one is, but see, consistency is the most important thing here, right? Just being able to repeat the same performance lap after lap after lap. That's when you know you've got the car and the track down, and it takes a lot of repetitions to do that. It's not about speed. It's not about the fast lap time. It's about consistency. The lap times will improve. Once you're consistent, you'll see your lap times improve, right? But if you're trying to be faster by improving your lap times, you're breaking up the wrong tree and you're probably going to fail miserably. On the other hand, if you try to be consistent and let the lap times fall into place, you're going to be in good shape. So... How are we doing on the cooking timer? A minute and a half. Flip the tacos over and I'll just stay in the kitchen at that point because they only need, once you flip them, they just need another minute or two and then they're done. All right. Ooh, take her easy here. You just about blew it. Yeah. Time trials used to let you go get new tires, but you can't. No, what do you say? That means it's at 50%. That's weird. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my food.
I'm back in Panzer. I couldn't have said it better myself. The trucks have been a total, complete and total shit show. Sometimes, some of these, some of these have been going full, you know, flag to flag. That's very, very unlikely. Very unlikely. My food's still too hot. Man, I want to chow this stuff. I'm so hungry. <clears throat> He's going to run out about lap 49. Trying to cool my food, folks. 34 laps. That is so good. God, man. That's almost protestable, dude. But. I think I might have saw that race on Squirrel Turd Stream. His name is Charles Cummings. And he was side by side with you down this whole back stretch. Then when he went into turn one, you shot past him, came down to pinch him, and then he came up just enough as you were coming down to hit you. And that's just racing incident when that happens. Because once you're side by side with someone, like you watch on the straight, he's not obligated to back out of that corner. Yeah, that sucked because um, he had tire on you. He had a lot of tire left. He was coming. What was, what was kind of crappy about it, Panzer, was when those cars hit, you shouldn't have went scurrying off like that. It's just iracing shit physics. You know, you just touch somebody a little bit and they just go helicoptering into the wall. It's ridiculous. Look at that fuel pressure dropping right down to nothing. You know, the guy he passed just before you was salty as hell. And he was, he wasn't even competing for the win. He was behind you and, and he passed you both on two separate laps. I think back-to-back -back laps, but... That guy got into him, said something to him on chat about cutting it too close. We could see on the replay, it wasn't anything close at all about it. Then he saw him pass you, and it wasn't even you that spoke up. It was the other guy. <laughs> Silly as hell. I forget who the other guy was. But last night, or was it the night before, I was streaming with Stryker here. And Stryker is just now about 3K. He's almost a 3K. Think about that. I mean, that's, that's quite a milestone, man, just to get to 3K. And he's almost there. I'm watching him doing his triumph tower right now, you see. But David tried to be clean, you know, to come down nice and easy on a guy and that guy just dumped him. Oh, yep, I'm here. Let's go take a look at it, shall we?
Mmm. I love. Tell me what they are. See, even as loose as we made it, it was tight this time around, you know? It's just really weird. Oh my god, dude, you picked up 05 safety rating, 399. Damn, 399, dude. I'm dead serious. God, that's bogus. It would probably give you point two. Mm -hmm. I'm streaming, but once you leave, I'm going to go stream a different game. So you might as well raid an iRacer. Yeah. <clears throat> But Panzer, getting back to my story, um, a couple of nights ago, I think it was just last night. It was just last night, or what? What more appropriately, twenty four hours ago, right? Mm -hmm. Strikers Racing, and he's doing the two k three k thing, you know, where you're you're just trying to stay clean, like you did when you come out of rookies, you know. There's this race clean mentality. And at, at the higher splits, once you start to get above 2, 3K, they're expecting you to move affirmatively, you know, into positions. And David had started to come down, but he wasn't affirmative about it. He made it look like he was open on the inside. The next car came along, and then David started to come again and got turned. No, there's, you know, a gap. You got to throw your car in there. You know, you got to be assertive, saying, here's my lane. Here's where I'm at. And that's the expectation at the higher levels of racing. Is that you just make it known, this is my spot. If somebody hits you, they hit you square, not offset. But, um, yeah, in your case, David's talking. The rule is if you're going to pass somebody in a turn, you have to get your car up to their A pillar, which is the pillar up by the windshield. Once you get that far up, you own that corner. You're not obligated to back out. On the other hand, if you're back here and the guy starts to turn in, you can't just throw it in there on him. You know, once they reach their turning point, if you're not at the A pillar, you got to back out. You got to let them complete their corner. That's not how you pass legally. But in, in um, Squirrel Turd's case, Charles Cummings, he was side by side with you down the street. He went into the turn and he, and he started breaking before you, so you ended up out ahead of him. But as he rolled the corner, you were on the high side of his lane, but he had room, and he just barely slid up. But the moral of the story is, he, he was there, he's, he's allowed to, you know, he got his turn in from a legal point, and, you know, he's allowed to stay in that corner. And it just so happened you were on the low side of it, and he, he scrubbed out a little bit, just a tiny bit, and there was light contact that should have done absolutely nothing. You both should have rolled through, locked together, no problem. But you know how iRacing is, a minute cars touch, Cars just go careening everywhere. It's really stupid, but, you know. Mm hmm Even on a stream, we watched the replay. You could see your front end, man. You, you didn't even go up to the wall. You're lucky. Because your car is way more out of sorts than it should have been first, you know. Think about it. Two cars going about the same speed, about the same direction, and they touch... It's very undramatic. 
Usually it just makes a sound you hear. But on iRacing, they want to create all this excitement and their physics are shit anyway, so these cars just go crazy. I'm getting data from you. You're out there on a 10 lap time trial. I think it's your F1 screen will tell you when you've done what you need, you know, to meet the minimum. The F1 black box that tells you your fastest lap and all that, that should tell you if you've completed your 10 lap without inch. Uh -huh. Jumpy bugs are weird, Mrs. Reaper. They're not at all anything like the um, winged sprint cars, dirt street stocks, or any of the dirt cars that you're more familiar with. Yeah, 30.7, I think. Yeah, that setup's got it in it, you know. Plus, the track's probably 108. I'm guessing a little cooler. <clears throat> Actually, come to think of it, I think time trials, the conditions are always the same. Yeah. So you are off stream, but are you going to run any more races tonight? That's the big question. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's still like late evening and freaking. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Gosh, 2830, what a tease. <laughs> Yeah. Tell. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Or what I call pointing. Oh, God. <clears throat> Stevie Minson isn't. Um, justice is split. Wasn't it you that Stevie Minson got into it with? He wrecked somebody. You know who I think it might have been? Was it Squirrel Turge or maybe Jake? He's always wrecking people. He wrecks people like crazy. He's just an absolute missile. Crap, I would have had you, I'd have known Flo was streaming. I would have had you raid Flo. What is Flo streaming? I just now took, I haven't been in here. I just now took a look at my. He only streams twice a month. So you probably, yeah, you probably didn't. It's not like me where I'm here every day and, you know, at a particular time. I'm going to pull his stream up and see what's up with Flo. He's jamming music, <laughs> racing. He's doing trucks. I'll turn Derek's sound down. Flo's got no audio.
Flo has no audio. Squirrel turds in the air there. So is panic. <clears throat> the music, you can hear music. You can hear music. And it's copyrighted stuff. You can barely hear the mic. The mic is in there super quiet. Let me tell him that. That's cool that flow streams. <clears throat> Weird for him to be on this late, though. I think he streamed in the daytime mostly the last time he did it. I could be wrong. Well, the longer you go, the more safety you get. Oh. Yeah, that's good math. Sure. They're at a 10 to 1 ratio. 10 laps equals 0.1, at least when you're this high, you know, up to 4. It'd be more than that if you were lower. Oh, that was Bristol you guys worked on? Okay, I'm getting things set up here. Mm -hmm. You have to have 10 laps without incident. And then that's enough. But you won't get a score until the full 30 minutes has expired. It won't just end because you've left the session. Yes. Yep. Catch you later, David. Good race, man. That'll be cool. We're going to go switch over here. To over here. See ya. Bye-bye. Yo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did it really? Oh, it didn't used to do that. Oh, you got the big jump. A little bonus. Killer, dude. That is great. Yep, bye-bye. 
Hola, Juan. How are the stars coming? I can't believe you're up at 1.30 in the morning. Is everything all right? So what was that all about? Oh, tell me about FSO. How did that work out for you? <laughs> 